Hello friends, my name is Manoj Bishwas and in my this channel I will be discussing with small simple experiments related to physics, chemistry, biology and some mathematical tricks. So my channel is meant for small kids starting from say 8 class onwards. So we will be enjoying with small little experiments of physics, chemistry, biology and some tricks of mathematics also. So today I am going to demonstrate you the significance of ignition temperature. Ignition temperature it is also known as kindling temperature. It is the minimum temperature at which a substance catches fire. It is the minimum temperature at which a substance catches fire. And you know everything does not catch fire. There are certain things which will never catch fire. They are known as non-combustible substances. On the other hand there is a variety of substances which will catch the fire. They are called combustible substances. So I have taken the topic of ignition temperature. It is the minimum temperature at which a substance catches fire. So when the substance will attain the ignition temperature that time it will catch the fire if it does not attain the ignition temperature it will not catch the fire so i have taken a paper cup in my hand and i have taken a candle so first let me the candle so now i put this paper cup on the candle flame and you will notice that the paper having a very small ignition temperature will catch the fire very soon it will catch the fire very soon so let me put it over here so this is the paper cup this is the candle and it's empty so when I put it on the candle then it will catch the fire very quickly because its ignition temperature is small See, it is already in a burning state. So let me put it off. Then what we will do, we will take another cup and in that cup we will put some water. So I have put some water. This cup is made up of the same material as the previous one. Now I will put this one on the candle flame again. And let us see what happens. If I keep the candle here for even half an hour. The cup will not catch the fire. So even if I keep the candle here for half an hour, then also the cup will not catch the fire. You can see. It doesn't catch fire. And if I can keep the candle for some time and notice the temperature of the water, then I will find the temperature of the water has increased. So what is happening here? Why this cup is not catching the fire? Why the earlier one was catching the fire? It is something to do with this water? Yes. It has something to do with this water. Now I will request you to think about this and answer in the comment segment. Until then, see you in the next video. Thank you very much.